Um, a lot of the unit three was actually just straight memorization of the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, I'm not going to go into uh, great detail here, but I will go through the order of the spectrum and um, I probably won't write down all of the uses and things like that, but I will at least talk about them. All right, so there are seven parts to the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, and I'm going to write them in a particular order like I did when, when I taught. So there's radio waves, then there's microwaves, okay, uh, then infrared waves, which is sometimes abbreviated IR, and you can just write that on the exam. That is okay. That is acceptable. Then you have visible light. All right, and for visible light, you need to know the order of the uh, colors in which they go. All right, and the remember uh, the way you remember that is Roy G in English at least is Roy G Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That is your rainbow basically. All right, so if you think about you know on a rainy day if you see a rainbow, those are the colors you're seeing, and then they're in that order. And you need to make sure you know that order. All right, then you have ultraviolet which is sometimes abbreviated UV. And again, that's okay. That's a standard abbreviation. You can um, use that on the test. Then you have X-rays. And finally, you have gamma rays. All right. And the reason that I've written them in this order, perhaps I should have done it more in the middle, but anyway, is um, because they are a spectrum. Okay. And so the idea is that all of these waves, all EM waves, travel at the same speed. And they, that's not the only thing they have in common. So they all have several things in common. So they all travel at the same speed in a vacuum. So they travel at the same speed. They can travel in a vacuum. So they don't need a medium to go through. They're capable of traveling without any particles or, or matter around, all right? Um, they, of course, can all be reflected and refracted just like any other um, wave. They all carry energy, which is a, the basic definition of a wave. A wave is a way of transferring energy, right? They are all transverse. Oops. Um, and when I say they travel at the same speed, they travel at the speed of light in a vacuum, which is um, 300 million meters per second. You do not need to know that value. If you do, that's fine. But just so you know, you do not need to know that value. All right. And like I said, they can be reflected and reflect, refracted. Okay. So all EM waves have these four properties in common. Okay, so why do we separate them out like this if they all if they have all these things in common? So they travel at the same speed, but if you remember, our basic wave equation is this, all right? Frequency times um, wavelength is equal to speed. So they all travel at the same speed. So what is different for all of these waves is not their speed, but instead their frequency and their wavelength. And that's what you should know, okay? So if I were to look at their frequency, Okay, so this is frequency here. The idea is that um, the gamma rays have the highest frequency, okay, and radio waves have the lowest. I don't have a place to put that. Um, all right, so they have a very low frequency, but because they have a very low frequency, that means that they have a very long wavelength. So again, if I were to do another set of arrows here, right, if this were the wavelength, the idea is that radio, have the, radio waves have the lowest frequency, which means they have the longest or biggest wavelength, and then gamma rays have the shortest wavelength, all right? And there's a, there's a range of values for each of these, and you do not need to know the actual numbers. You just need to know them relative to each other. And so remember I said you need to know these colors here. The reason why is because that you need to know that red, for example, so red is the closest to infrared on the spectrum. Violet is the closest to ultraviolet. Hopefully that's not too difficult to remember. Um, and so the idea is that infrared has longer wavelength than visible light, and the red has the longest wavelength of any of the visible colors, whereas the violet would have the... Um, 
the shortest wavelength, okay? All, or you could say that red has the lowest frequency of any divisible light spectrum, right? So this you need to have memorized, this idea of which one comes where. All right, you also need to know all the things they have in common. And the other thing you need to know is what are they used for and how can you protect yourself against them? All right, I'm not gonna write these down. I'm gonna say them very quickly. Um, if you are not, uh, if you can't get them down fast enough or I'm going too quickly, I would refer you to page 107 in your book because that has um, all of their, their uses and, and things like that, okay? Radio waves, um, so I'm gonna talk about their uses, their dangers, and then anything you could do to protect yourself. Radio waves have no known danger uh, to, to people, um, often because perhaps their wavelength is so long, they're actually longer than us, so they don't, they, we don't, our body doesn't absorb them or anything, they just pass right by. So radio waves have no known danger and they are mainly used for um, communication for radio, or like literally radio, haha. Um, all right, microwaves um, are used for cooking or uh, satellite communication. Those are the two main uses for them. And the danger of them is that they can heat internal tissue. So uh, ways that you could protect yourself against that would be things like close the microwave door, avoid exposure, things like that. Infrared waves are used for heating. Um, when we talked about the different types of, of heat uh, transfer, infrared does, uh, is responsible for radiation. And so basically, if something is hot, it will put off infrared waves. And the hotter it is, the more infrared waves it puts out. And so it, the danger of it is that it can burn your skin, right? Think about your skin blistering if you get too close to a fire or things like that. So infrared waves, the main thing is uh, that it can burn your skin. And the way you would protect yourself uh, is to avoid exposure or to put some distance between yourself and the infrared, whatever's emitting infrared. Uh, visible light is obviously used to see, but don't say that. Don't write that in a, in a, uh, in a test, please. All right. It is used for uh, optical fibers and photography are the two main uses for it. And the danger of this is that it can cause blindness. Ultraviolet is used um, in fluorescent tubes or tanning lamps. It's used for dental fillings, uh, to set dental fillings. Um, I'm trying to think, the fluorescent lamps covers a lot of things like the tanning beds and stuff. Uh, and so ultraviolet is what it, the danger for it is that it can cause skin cancer, right? That's what happens if you lay out in the sun every summer for long periods of time. You're much, you're increasing your risk of skin cancer. Uh, and so the way to, do, to avoid it would be to wear sunscreen or um, avoid exposure by wearing long sleeves or things like that. Oh, sorry, I didn't say the visible light. Uh, how to avoid blindness would be to wear sunglasses. X-rays, the dan big danger of X-rays is that they can cause cell mutations or cancer. All right, and the way to avoid that is to wear uh, protective shielding such as lead to put yourself um, to reduce exposure or to wear uh, photographic film badges that allow you to see whether you've been exposed. Uh, gamma rays is basically the same thing. You have um, the, the uh, as x-rays, sorry. So the dangers of gamma rays would be uh, cancer or cell mutation. It can be used to treat cell, um, to cancer. Both, sorry, both of these can be used to treat cancer, ironically, but the main thing is that um, they can cause cancer, they can cause cell mutation. And again, you want to, Avoid this by reducing your exposure or wearing appropriate protective shielding, such as lead. In the case of gamma rays, you could wear lots of concrete. It's not terribly realistic, but it would help. All right. Um, so that is your electromagnetic spectrum.